Hey guys, it's me, Christina, and I have my Friday read, so let's get started. So, I'm still currently reading The Last Olympian by Rick Riordan. It's the fifth and final book in the Percy Jackson series. I will finish this eventually. Like, I'm really trying. And it's, it's not boring, like, at all. I just, like... Ugh, I'm just, like, busy and... It's so good. I love the series. I've been reading the series, like, technically since 2011. Um, I read the first one, then I stopped, and then I reread it last year, and then I continued on, and I'm really sad to let, like, Percy go, because I know he, like, makes, like, an appearance in the new series, but it won't be the same... I'm really sad. Um, I'm on page 175, and it's really good. I'm reading Dark Lover by uh, J.R. Ward. Um, this is the first in like a paranormal series, and yeah, I I'm really enjoying it. Um, like I think I'm like on page 47, which is like. I don't even know what it would be in, like, percent-wise. Um, I'm still reading, uh, The Last Time We Say Goodbye, and I have to finish this soon because it's going to be due at the library soon, and I cannot renew it because I've renewed it twice. And I'm on page 185, and it's really good. It's, like, really sad, but I am loving this, and I really want to try... Uh, Cynthia Hand's other works. I have her first book, Unearthly. Um, I don't know if it's as good as this one because this one is so beautiful and so good and I love it so much. But um, let me know if anyone has ever read the Unearthly trilogy and if it's any good. Um, so, yeah. And uh, lastly, last night I started Shatter Me and I'm like in love with this book already. I see why everyone loves it so much. Um, I am on page 73. And it's so good. This is like the most beautiful writing I've ever read. Like I, I have highlighted a lot in this book. I just like kept like, um, like this is from chapter two. It's like, it's not a spoiler. Like, so it says, raindrops are my only reminder that clouds have a heartbeat. That I have one, too. I always wonder about raindrops. Like, what? This is so beautiful. Like, I love this book so much. And, um, after I finish Shatter Me, I'm going to go to the rest of the trilogy because I love this writing. This is so beautiful and poetic. Um, uh, yesterday I went to the library and I had some books on hold and I had some books that I saw that looked good, so, um, I'm going to start with the books that I had hold first, which are only two. One is, um, Fan Art by Sarah Tregay, When the Picture Tells the Story, and, like, I saw him, like, like, something, like, Epic Reads did, and it was, like, if you, like, Simon vs. the Homo Sabian, you will like this, so I requested it at my library, because, this looks really good. And I read her other book, which is Love and Leftovers, and it was a book in verse, and it was very good. And I'm really not sure what this is about. All I know is about, it's about, like, a gay kid, um, and senior is almost over, and Jimmy Pearson has a big problem, not college. That's all set. No problem. He'll find a date somehow. No, the worst problem is he's falling for his best friend. Oh god, that can't be good. But this looks really good, and I really want to get to it either this month or next month. And then I picked up a book that a lot of people have been talking about, which is Counter Deep by Neil Shu Neil Shusterin, I think. Yes. Yes. I'm right. Um, it says the bottom is only the beginning. I don't know really about this book, but this cover is beautiful. Um, and Kaden cannot say that 
is on a ship that headed for the deepest point of Earth, Challenger's Deep, southern part of the Marine Trench. And I don't really know what this is about. Like, it doesn't really say much. Oh, there's, like, pictures in here. Look at that. That's cool. Um, but I hope to get to it. It says my feet are safe on the solid ground, but that's just an illusion. That sounds really good. Um, I picked up These Guys Everywhere by Jandy Nelson. I've tried reading this before and I really want to give it another shot because some people like it, some people hate it. Um, but it was like in like a section where it was like recommended because if you liked, like, I think it was like sad books or something. And I don't remember, um, I, I think I got like 40. I did not like the audiobook version. I was like too, like, like sometimes the voices don't like connect with me. Like, like I was listening to like the Outlander audiobook for like a while, but I ended up returning it to Audible because I could not stand the voice. And the only reason I got it was like, a, it was like a dollar. I was like, why not? But I just like decided to read without the audiobook, which is gonna take me forever because the size of Outlander is crazy. I like hiccup in my and all I know is about this girl who her name is Lenny. She's a bookworm, a band geek, she plays second clarinet. Oh god. I used to play clarinet. <laughs> I used to play violin too. Um anyway, um uh her sister dies. That's all I really remember, and she meets this guy, and that's all I remember also. Um, the Kiss of Deception by Mary E. Pearson. Um, I've heard so many amazing things about this book. Um, I'm not really, like, into, like, fantasy, but, um, like, I read some fantasy. Um... And all I know really about this is about this girl. She is supposed to get married and like there's this person who's like hunting her and then there's like the prince but you don't know which one is which. That's all I know. And the last book I got was Hold Me Closer Necromancer which is a Nutmeg Award 2014 for high school. Like it has like the scale of it. I don't know if your libraries do that but mine do and we just like got this 2016 ones and it says reason it sure beats flipping burgers which sounds funny and the first chapter is called dead man's party and it has a little skull that is adorable so i hope you guys enjoyed my uh, library haul and friday reads i will see you guys next time happy reading bye guys